We live in these tents at the homestead. And the big question was, can you actually use one of those power stations to live off? Is it enough power? So let me show you what it can do and what it can. Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. The big question was, can you buy one of those Blue Eddy power units or something like it, like a Jackery or something, and actually live on that? Is it enough power? And the answer is yes and no. It depends on learning how to ration power and using it and how big you go. So let me take you through some options. By far for the price point, this is my favorite battery. It is the EB3A. And it doesn't hold a whole lot of power, but it charges really fast. And it's surprising how much you can do with it. Because this thing's usually around $200 if you catch it on sale. And it's almost always on sale. It does all the same stuff the big ones do. It has the wireless charger and the multiple ports. But what's really cool about this is you can actually go over the wattage of most other batteries if you use a cell phone app. So say you have like a microwave that's 1500 watts, you can actually make this thing do a trick where it will go up to 1500. It just won't go up with a lot of power. So the microwave will take a lot longer to run, but it can do it. Uh, this is a great little battery for 200 bucks. I'm super impressed with this. It's ridiculously light for a battery and this is a good one for like if you had a kid you could give them their own battery and they'll pretty much use this to power their electronics we also run the tv and entertainment with this so we mainly use this for things like running fans small appliances charging phones and the water pump when we shower and stuff the next one i have is a step up it's the eb70 it has a lot more battery power cost about $500 and this one will run a lot of stuff but is limited you can't do that little trick where you know you can make it do more wattage but it goes up to about 700 watts so things like you can run a, um, a blender you could run we mainly use it for the rice cooker and it can run a box fan for about 10 hours without getting recharged so this is kind of what we use at night to run the fans to keep our place cool. So that's one thing. If you're living off grid, depending on your weather, you're going to do everything you can to naturally ventilate stuff. But there's going to be times in the day where you just need to push heat out. And this will not run an air conditioner, but it will run fans. And you can do multiple fans. If What's really cool about all the Blue Eddies is you can have it plugged into a solar panel and use it at the same time so it will draw energy from the solar panel and not just eat up the battery so in the sunny parts of the day this thing will pass through energy and you can pretty much just have free fans all day it's not till the sun sets that you start really eating the battery up and again this uh this is a really good option for 500 it's a little older now so it's probably going to start getting cheaper but it's a solid battery this is our powerhouse of our homestead, and we use this battery the most. This is the 200 um, Max, and it even has a 30 amp plug in here. If you had a camper or something, you could plug it directly in and just use all the wiring in your camper. You don't have to rewire anything. Real convenient. This thing can run your high power stuff, high power tools, go up to about 2,000 watts. So that's pretty much like a high power microwave, that's an air fryer. That's all that stuff. Now it will eat up the battery. Running like an air fryer will eat up 10 to 20% of this thing. Running an air conditioner will kill it in three or four hours. But it does the sun pass through where you have solar panels and it can um, charge while it's uh, using the AC too. So you can kind of pull a lot of energy off your solar panels during the heat of the day when you need it and put it directly into your air conditioning so we have some low power air conditioning that only runs at like 600 watts just like one of those little stands so if I can get 600 watts solar coming in we can make it a wash and, and it can run that but if you were to go at night this is only going to power something like that for a few hours this is a workhorse though it's um, get the max it's worth it I think and these are kind of like Blue Eddie's last year models so they're starting to come out with new stuff and they're starting to drop on price, which these things are an awesome buy for what they're going for right now. If you have the budget, 
this is the next step up and this is the EP500 Pro it can take 3000 watts in and it has 5120 watt hours this is a big Mac Daddy and basically this is designed to run a house you could have this on a small house or a cabin and it would pretty much be all you need now it will not run 220 power so you couldn't do like a big dryer or deep well pump but you can buy two of these units put them together and then you could run 220 and if you had two of these units you probably wouldn't even need much more than that now the batteries on this are incredible I can't remember the stats but it's something like 12 years of life which is insane for a battery so it's heavy duty and it is designed you can wire it into um, a normal house and if your power goes out it can run for quite a while now you can't be done with it and run a bunch of air conditioners at the same time and run a dryer and all this stuff it will drain pretty quick just like any device that but if you're not doing a lot of that this is pretty much all you need and what's cool is you can put a lot of solar power into this so if you guys aren't on solar you might not realize that you can't just add as many panels as you want each unit only takes so much input so if you want to run something heavy duty like an air conditioner or a heater that takes a lot of input so this kind of machine can take that the littler ones I showed you can't take a huge amount of input but this this Mac Daddy can it is not cheap they run anywhere around four to five thousand dollars and you have to kind of look at it as an investment in uh, power because we have friends up north that pay six seven hundred dollars a month for their power so within like a year this thing's paid for itself and if you look at it that way you're kind of buying power ahead for the next 12 years and this is uh, pretty expensive but honestly if you had the know-how you could build a much more powerful unit than this yourself for less money but you kind of have to know what you're doing now you can figure it out on YouTube and all but remember all these power stations that I'm showing you are about convenience and about portability I can bring this to house to house if I'm like a renter or something and moved around a lot this is so easy or for us that we live off grid we can roll this thing to you know a cabin we could roll it to um, an outdoor area if we wanted to entertain we could roll it to a work site this thing's heavy duty so it's on wheels uh, it weighs a lot but it is really top of the line I love this thing depending on your budget and your power needs you're always going to do better kind of building your own unit it's way cheaper but it's not nearly as convenient and easy as these and especially if it's like your first time and you're learning the homestead the all-in-ones are just simple and easy but they're more expensive so it's going to really depend on your budget of how much power you get to use off grid just starting out like we are intense what you have to do is learn how to conserve power you can't live like you do at the house where everything's plugged in all the time you only turn things on and off when you need them but with these just even a basic battery like the $500 batteries or whatever you can have a really decent lifestyle off grid you can run a TV at night for hours you can run your computers you can you won't feel like you're off grid in the winter we burn wood and we cook with wood when we don't have as much Sun so we use a lot less power you know our cooking instead of using appliances we're pretty much just doing everything on a stove so you have to adapt and you can't really just like run these to run a heater that would be really difficult to do so you can use it but you also probably need wood so the good news is for a couple hundred dollars you can live pretty comfortably but you just got to be very mindful of your power but it can be done especially like if you have like a van or a little camper or something I mean we're doing it in tents and we live pretty comfortable it's it's posh the thing is is you have to retrain yourself like you know Americans are horrible about power use and we burn up so much that you can't live like that and you can't pretty much unless you have a lot of money you really just can't live like that off-grid you got to be very mindful of your power and 
to be realistic, we waste so much power just leaving every single thing plugged in. Oh, I forgot to mention, refrigeration. We use a very low power refrigerator and it's kind of like a cooler. And we can run any of those, uh, we'll run on any of the Blue Eddies. So here's our refrigerator we use. We use two of these and they only pull about 20 to 30 watts. So you can use any of the Blue Eddies you want. You can even run this off one of the tiny ones. This thing kicks butt for a refrigerator. Uh, it actually freezes on one side and is a fridge on the other. Now, mind you, it's a cooler, so you can't fit a huge amount of food in here. But for the price, you can get three or four of these things and make an entire freezer system and fridge. And, you know, they're, they're a fraction of what a new fridge costs or a solar fridge off-grid. I really like them. They work great, and they're easy to keep, clean and carry and move around. They're awesome. They're called bodegas. I can link them below. The other option also is to get a deep freezer. You know, those things that always live out in the garage. A deep freeze is a super efficient way to keep your frozen stuff done. And you can run the, um, any of the Blue Eddies can handle a deep freezer. Because they, they don't pull much electric at all. You'd be surprised. They do in the beginning when they're getting everything to temp. But once they're frozen solid, they only come on a few times a day. Uh, and it's a great way to store stuff. You just make, you kind of have to make sure that um, if you have four or five days without good sun that you might have to finagle it and maybe use your car to charge it or something for a few hours to cool everything back down. Other than that though, if you get yourself a deep freeze and those little refrigerators, you can run and live on one of these small batteries. So that's the whole thing is you got to change your lifestyle of getting really low power appliances too. To be very comfortable um, if I were to do it again and I knew what I was like I'm a hundred percent I want to off-grid and maybe you've had a couple years under your experience go ahead and build your own system but these are great starter systems I will link all the blue eddies below you can they're always going on sale so just keep an eye out but a lot of times on Amazon you'll get a smoking deal on them uh, if you're not in a rush, take your time and it, the sales are worth it. They're, especially like you catch it on a Black Friday. And sometimes the Blue Eddy site's good too. You know, they, they have deals, but most of the time Amazon is the cheapest you can find. Okay, I hope this helped and give it a try. I really like Blue Eddy. Uh, there's some other good companies out there. EcoFlow, I don't use them, but I hear they're good. And uh, Jackery's kind of like the budget cheaper version, but... All in all, so far, I've been really happy with the Blue Eddy. These things change every year. There'll be a better model and a new company will come in. So these are kind of a year old I'm showing you. And you can get a smoking deal on older technology that's still really good. I mean, this was new technology a year or two ago. So that's a great way to go. You know, you if you're on a budget, you can save a lot of money buying these kinds. Okay, I hope that helped. Uh, I'll link everything again in the description. Thanks so much for being with us. We love you. Hang in there.